Hi, I'm Shondell and I'm here with Loyash. He is playing Atticus the Money Man in 86 movie. How you doing, Loyash? Very well. How about yourself? I'm doing excellent. excellent. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you like most about being part of 86? I never had this experience before. I was uh, uh, in a couple of movies. I was in uh, extra, but uh, I never had a, a opportunity to be have a, a, a speaking role, mm -hmm. so to speak. And and uh, you know, every people they do their uh, bucket list when they're 60, 70. And uh, when I was 18, I made my own little bucket list, and one of them is uh, uh, appearing in an American-made movie. Yay. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, I had a lucky. Uh, Casting call. Uh, I think I was the last, uh, third, to last uh, individual Christian, and the rest of the crew uh, interviewed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, and I got in, and I was really excited about it, and I'm looking forward to it. Yay! What do you like most about being an actor? Well, I don't know what I like and what I don't like because uh, my uh, uh, resume is not that long. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think the most important part: you can be uh, uh, somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's uh, pretty much it. That's right. <laughs> That's enough. I mean, uh, you know, after the after the shooting, you asked me, I'm gonna be uh, elaborate on uh, that. Okay, uh, I'll ask you again later. Got it. More, but uh, right now I'm just really excited, a little nervous. Okay. But I'm looking forward to it. Don't be nervous, cause he's sitting right there. What do you like most about working with Christian Purdy? He is cool as a cucumber. Yeah. That's all I can say. <laughs> I just uh, he's really relaxed. Uh, uh, I I really have a hard time sometimes. But he's just uh, behind telling us uh, what needs to be done, mm -hmm. how he wants it. So uh, he's, we are pretty much the same generation. So we really have a, a, a common understanding. And I'm, um, I'm really looking forward to most of the crew is like a same generation, same cool people. So, um, and I like the idea itself, 86th and uh, lots of blood, a lot of shooting. And I, I, I hope uh, I'm still alive in the end of it. <laughs> If I don't, I don't, you know. If you don't, you don't. If you do, don't, you die well, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> so you have on a pretty snazzy suit there, Lyosh. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like uh, clothing. I like good clothing, good food. I'm the guy for that, actually. Yeah. Are you wearing uh, boxers, briefs, or? Well, if it, uh, right now I'm wearing uh, boxers in the winter time, uh, uh, try to go with briefs. <laughs> That's a good answer, Lyosh. <laughs> really? It, yes, it is. <laughs> You were going to a party you tonight. You guys have to edit it out, <laughs> but uh, you know you gotta watch your watch for your balls. And <laughs> if you were gonna go to a party tonight with your snazzy suit on, would you be looking for the woman who's shy and mysterious, or the life of the party? I would look for a lady. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? That means uh, who? Do we have all night? Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Um, um, I, I like to have a good conversation, uh, a good glass of wine, and just uh, serious good sex. Yeah, all right. So I think uh, it has to be all together. I don't need a lady to iron my shirt mm -hmm. or cook for me, so to speak. So I, I need a lady. I can go out and uh, uh, have fun. So when she showed up for the first date, would you want her to be dressed sexy or kind of laid back? Bring yourself. First date is horrible. It's worse than a job interview. <laughs> You have to be, you, you don't even want to be. Right. You have to be yourself. And if it's not working out, it's just not working out. Right. It's just, you go to the first date, you talk, you try to act like you are some individual mm -hmm. you never wanted to be. And I just, no, be yourself. If you screw it up, screw it up. There is enough efficiency. Yeah. So what's the most important thing that your parents taught you? Nothing. I'm an orphan. Really? <laughs> Yes, I say hi to every woman on the street. I don't know which one is my mother. No, you guys have to cut this out. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I was feeling so badly. No, no, I am, I am an orphan. I just didn't want that uh, last uh, part into it. But it was funny. I like that part. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, I grew up in an orphanage, but uh, I'm, I'm not crying about it. I'm pretty happy uh, who am I and who I uh, turn out to be. So I'm, I'm around uh, parents. I have foster parents. I have a lot of uh, individuals who try to uh, uh, give me advice mm -hmm. during my life. So uh, I'm not really uh, that family-rooted uh, individual, but uh, that gives me, um, you know, pros and contras. It gives me a lot of uh, opportunities for certain things. Mm -hmm. Do you live here in Las Vegas? Yes, uh, once again, yes. Do you get a chance to party a lot? I'm not really uh, that uh, party person anymore. I like to go out with friends. Uh, uh, get hammered out of wine and good conversations, but uh, that party scene tourist uh, thing is not really. Uh, so I I grew out of it, mm 
-hmm. I really like to have fun. I really like to go out with good people. But uh, I like to have a conversation. Uh, I like to go dancing, but I like to have a conversation with n not screaming music next to me. Right. So I'm more like a human interaction sort of thing. Infused with a little dancing, a little drinking, a little good food, and serious amount of sex if it's possible. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Ooh, that's a long list because uh, I don't know if I go Europeans to Fellini, Goddard, uh, Fassbinder, or if I go to American Scorsese, Spielberg, or uh, I don't know. Uh, if I have to choose, what would I watch tonight? Mm -hmm. If I had a chance to uh, uh, get buzzed out of uh, any. Uh, 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 I would say Tarantino, Pulp yeah. Fiction, I think one of the most revolutionary movie and screenplay I ever uh, read and uh, seen. Uh, there is a lot of other movies I'm really interested about, but uh, if I have to choose right now, it would be Pulp Fiction. And what about your favorite actor, actress, and why? Actor, actress. Uh, I like Al Pacino. The guy is amazing, where he started all the way to uh, where he ended up, having all the Tonys, Emmys, and uh, uh, Oscars, Academy Awards, and uh, the way he can go on the screen or a stage or, or anywhere and, and do his stuff, it's pretty amazing. Actress, I have not, uh, I, don't, I, don't really, uh, I don't really have uh, anyone you might know, mm -hmm. so uh, I wouldn't, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a European lady, uh, she's Hungarian, and I really had a, 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 a major crush on her when I was a, a younger little kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I haven't followed her since I've been here in the States, but uh, uh, I think she was one of the best I've ever seen. Yeah. So <clears throat> if you were a superhero, what kind of power would you want to have? Take away guns from everybody. Nice. I mean, definitely. This war is uh, it's the biggest crap I ever heard. Mm -hmm. So. I don't like uh, killing individuals. I don't like that killing of what's going on for religion, for money, for all those things. I'm not really, uh, let's change the subject because it's, Aww. no, I don't, I just, I don't like to kill anybody. I don't like people uh, raising a gun, a bomb, whatever the case might be. Yeah. Just, no, we have the same right to be here. We are a, a, a part of the same mass. So money uh, ruined everything on that, I think. How do you connect personally with your character in this movie? Well, I, go, uh, I, I, I read my part a lot, and uh, I try not to like my uh, uh, Jabedia. I try not to like him, mm -hmm. and I try to act like during these uh, readings and all those things, I don't really like you, dude, sort of approach, because I'm not supposed to like him. I'm more, I'm more supposed to be a little bit scared of him, not uh, try to stay alive, so on and so on, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm here the money, mm -hmm. for the money, to make the money, to make those uh, 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 things uh, happen for him. But uh, we wouldn't go out to have a drink after work. So okay. Thing. So I, I try not to like him. And he's doing everything in that order. So <laughs> to help you along. With yeah, that. we had this <laughs> casting coach shooting around. And it's like, <laughs> the guy is, uh, yeah. But he's cool. Don't get me wrong. And uh, sure. I think he's going to be great at it. And uh, the whole, whole thing is really good. It just, uh, I try to, uh, you know, uh, front of the mirror, mm -hmm. as usual. Uh, try to read uh, other things in the different uh, manner, in the same manner, and uh, uh, try to work around it. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, my part is, my speaking part is not as much, but uh, um, you know, that's enough for a start. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of experience, a lot of learning experience from uh, uh, Christian and uh, the rest of the guys. So i um, looking forward to it. So what do you think is the, the reason for people to come out and see 86th movie? It, it is about entertainment. It is about storytelling all the time. You have to, you have to make a point, and even if it's one sentence or, or a whole movie, you have to, you have to make a point. You have to tell a story, and uh, people stay in a movie uh, if if you if you enjoy them, if you entertained. You go out to a restaurant to be entertained because you don't want to wash dishes. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. You go out to the movies because you want to you want to hear a story. You want to see a story. You want to get a, a visual experience, uh, uh, the adrenaline rush, or just uh, get emotion or whatever the case might be. And you want you you here for the story. Yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty good story. Especially I think so. I think so. We get to see you, lawyer, should it? We've been talking to Lajos playing. Lajos. Dang it. That's all right. 
Say it to me again. Liars. Liars. No, I'm ruining it. No, don't. We've been talking. Liars. <laughs> I had to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've been talking. What? what? <laughs> We've been talking to Liars. He's playing Atticus in 86th movie.